Welcome Pokemon players to another episode of Discount Pokemon Decks. If you're here for a cheap deck, today is not your day. You can sit back and be entertained, but uh, don't think you're going to be able to make this deck for cheap. This is an expensive deck, um, but you know what? Every once in a while we got to splurge. You know, uh, you, you hit big at the horses, you, you scratch off ticket comes in. Whatever it is, uh, sometimes even budget t people get to splurge. and So I splurged a little bit with this deck. Not too much. Um, this is a this is this is not a budget deck though. So uh, in any case, uh, let's talk about the focal point of the deck. This is a uh, Beedrill Lurantis, uh, and the focal point is Beedrill Mega Beedrill's Hazard Stinger attack, which does 40 damage, which doesn't seem like much. But you discard all energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not paralyzed and poisoned. Put four damage counters instead of one on, on Pokemon between turns. So really, it does 80 damage. Uh, and if you think about it, he's, if he can't resolve the paralysis uh, in one way or another and stop the uh, poison, uh, you basically have a free turn and you're going to get another 40 damage back and another 40 till it goes back to him. So, uh, you know, count that up. Uh, I believe that's 160. And he's still poisoned when it's his turn. So he still has to deal with it. So it's a, it's a pretty good attack. Uh, the... Uh, the the paralysis you know i i kind of like paralysis i like decks where your opponent thinks he's able to do something and you can totally take him out of his game you know that's kind of why i like um mill decks and stuff like that and paralysis fits that bill um so we're going to combine the hazard stinger attack as our focal point with lorantis gx's flower supply and this lets you attach two basic energy card from your discard pile to your pokemon in any way you like so the idea is Power up Mega Beedrill. Uh, attack with Mega Beedrill. He loses all his energy. Retreat. While your opponent's paralyzed, use this flower supply to recharge your Mega Beedrill. And maybe drop another energy on Lorantis and retreat again and go for it again. Uh, and he uh, this will do an extra 40 damage in between. So that means you're doing 180. <laughs> if it's only the flower supply, again, you could choose to try to knock him out with the Chlorosythe. Uh, the GX attack, but this has a nice little synergy between uh, between that and our focal points. Uh, we've got a lot of things, uh, a lot of synergies to make that happen. Of course, you need energy in your discard, so we have nine energy. Four Acro Bike helps us get it in there. Three Ultra Balls helps us get energy in discard. Four Sycamore, so all synergy in between these elements. Um, Max Potion can help you get energy in your discard. So uh, even better, if he attacked your Beedrill, you can do the attack, wait while he's paralyzed, use your Max Potion to heal the Mega Beedrill. While he has no energy on him, then put the energy on him all in one turn. Pretty nifty. Uh, so, not only so not having the energy on the Mega Beedrill can be a, even though it's a detriment, can be used to your advantage. Um, other than that, this deck's pretty straightforward. Uh, only three Forest of Giant Plants. We don't need to go crazy with four, I don't think, in this deck. Two Revitalizers. Do I really need it? Well, I only have two GX. So, you know what? If I had a 3-3 three, three line, maybe. But then it gets a little crowded. Uh, I'd rather have the two uh, Revitalizers than go with a 3-3 three, three line. Hopefully, I won't go into a game where both are prized. Maybe I should put a Town Map in here, but... So far, it hasn't been an issue. Um, trainer's Mail, we have four of them. The draw is okay. 4-4, uh, four, four, and in Sycamore, and then two Lily, and uh, four Trainer Mail. Should be okay. We should be fine with that. Uh, two V-Seekers. Again, we're going to thin out our deck a little more with the Acro Bike, a little more with the Ultra Ball. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, two Lysander to choose our target. There's really not much to say about this deck. Uh, I, I think I mentioned every card, but Energy Retrieval, which of course gives us synergy when we're discarding energy. We can throw some in our hand. And of course, the Beedrill Spirit Link. Uh, that's it. That's all this deck is. And it's, uh, it's a fun deck to play. I, I, I really liked this card when it first came out. And I spent a lot of packs to get a set of 4-4. Four and four. I'm only running 4-3 here. Again, with the Revitalizer, I think it makes it a little easier. To get it back, I do have a Hex Maniac here just in case we run into some kind of a annoying ability. Uh, again, stopping our opponent with the Paralysis, then stopping them with Hex Maniac. Um, 
this is uh, primarily helps with like a Solgaleo uh, GX, which allows you to switch your Pokemon. So if you can cut that off while he's paralyzed, even better. And that's basically it. So let's get into some games right after a short break. All right, welcome back. Hopefully uh, this game will go smooth. Client's been acting a little weird today, so I don't know if it's been the client, the network, my network, their servers have not figured it out. Um, so hopefully we get everything going smooth here. Ooh, this is nice. We're going to go with... Uh, Fomantis first, and we'll put Beedrill on our bench. Okay, I'm not too scared about him getting knocked out. I do have two Revitalizers in our deck. He puts it right back in our hand. Forest of Giant Plants can help me um, upgrade. Oh, even better. I'm going to go with the Spirit Link because I can get that energy back if I really want to. I'm most likely just going to play the N and... I can't attack right now anyway, so. And I'm guessing I'm going to get an energy here. If I get a GX, then he can put it right on uh, on his next turn. Nope, no GX yet. Maybe with Trainer's Mail? I shouldn't have played that if I wasn't. Uh, oof. We'll put this in our hand anyway. What do we have? We have an N. Yeah, we can put that in our hand. So not exactly what I want, but... Nothing to do here. It only allows you to retreat because it's the first turn. My opponent with the fighting deck. Thank goodness I'm not playing something that's weak against fighting. It feels like the last few decks I've had. The Zoroark deck. Uh, some of the, uh, what was the other one? The uh, Snorlax deck. Everything seemed to be like as weak to fighting. Oh, okay. So now we know what we're facing. Pissimian. Hmm. I don't know if this deck's a great matchup except... Oh, no. He's not weak. He's weak to uh, Psychic. Uh, Mew here, weak to Psychic. So Mew should be pretty easy to knock out. This may be a little difficult here. Sky Return, that's fine. He could do a little damage to him. As long as I can get that next energy on. Uh, let's put it on this guy. I could he I could have healed him and done that, but I'm hoping to get the GX here. Or at least an Ultra Ball to give me a GX. There we go. All right, GX is here. Ultra Balls, I can uh, power up him. What if I 1, 2 to get him and then use Revitalizer to put it back in my hand? Does that make sense? I think so. We're going to try that. 1, 2. We're going to get the Mega Beedrill. And then we'll use Revitalizer to put that back in our hand and uh, evolve him. So he'll do 40 damage to Mew, one short of knocking him out. And he'll power up this Mega Beedrill and himself a little bit too. That's one of the cool things. Ooh, I can knock him out if I use the GX attack. Is that worth it? Let me think for a second. He's not going to knock me out. He's not going to do that much. I don't think he's going to do 180 damage. So one energy. Only one there. So we'll put on Mega Beedrill. You know, I'm wondering if I even need him. If he's going to have a Mew up, then maybe I should have just a regular uh, non-Mega Beedrill. Uh, just a Beedrill EX. Oops. Because most likely to, I won't have to chuck the energy. So I'm going to have to shift gears here a little bit. Hopefully, he, he should not be able to knock me out if I calculate this right. And I can max potion uh, the Lorantis after he retreats. Uh, if I have one in my hand. So, uh, if I get an energy in my hand, all is going to be great. One energy on Lorantis, retreat, attack. Um, maybe even go after one of these guys. Although, I don't have a Lysander in my hand. Alright, so my opponent's setting up his Muse. He should have that double color list because he had it at the Sycamore before. Uh, not Sycamore, Shaman. But if I calculate this right, uh, 30, 120, 130 is the most he can do. So I can even heal him here, put one energy on him. 
So that might not be a bad idea. Heal him first, put that one energy... Uh, heal him, lose the one energy, and then play an N and hopefully get one more energy back for him. Then he'll be just like new uh, with 60 damage, but he won't be... None of these guys will be able to do 150. Oh, he was going after the Beedrill. Oh, my opponent looking for an energy. Did he not have the uh, double call list? Or did I... I probably end it out of his hand. Oh, this would be interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play the max potion. Ooh. All right, we're back. So I guess my opponent got frustrated uh, that he didn't get the energy he needed, but I don't really need, see the need that he should have resigned. I, I don't think I was going to be that dominating. You know, I, the the hard part would have been, and he wouldn't know this probably, the max potions helping me out, um, preventing him from knocking out my Pokemon with uh, two shots. So that would have been the hardest part, I think. Um, but I guess we won't know. All right, now we're playing Energy Denial. Uh, this should be interesting. Because Fromantis does have the ability to put the energy back on my guys. Carbink, interesting, but weak to green. That's fine, he's a GX. And we're going to go after him right away. Uh, we can play Lily to put more cards in our hand. So what do we get rid of? He's got an Energy Denial. Thinking these two cards here. I don't think he's going to be knocking me out as much. So let's get the GX involved. Let's hold on to this energy retrieval because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Play Lily. And I've got the Hex Maniac too, so that can be used. He's going to put an energy on him if I get rid of it, so it's totally worth it. Uh, should I get another Mega B? Should I get a, another B drill? I think I'm going to need one of these guys, so I may not even put the energy on the B drill. Rockruff is also uh, weak against. Uh, grass type so I can knock him out with that but let's just uh, set up the next ah, I, sh I probably should have went for the knockout we're gonna set up you know what let's set up uh, the B drill so if he does knock out some energy I can use energy retrieval to get it back All right, Rockruff, GX, discard energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. 200 hit points, so uh, I may need my Mega Beedrill to knock him out. I can get one more energy on the Lorantis, and that'll knock him out with, with the GX attack. But obviously, we're going to be facing energy just, uh, denial here. It's fine. I have the energy retrieval here. Ah, my opponent doesn't even have the ability to attack, so... All right, I'm going to knock this guy out. Even if it means I'm poisoned, I'm fine with that. I don't want to play an N. He's only got two cards. Let's knock him out. Let's see what happens now. Because I could play an N on my turn. I'm not all that scared of the poison just yet. I do have this max heal. Great. Spirit link, that's what I want. All right, so I expect a crunch to come. Does he have ability to draw? He does. All right, so he's going with the Sycamore. I was hoping he'd be a little uh, stuck in the uh, stuck in the grass. Another crushing hammer. So three gone already. And that one hits, which is odd. He should have went after this one because uh, he's going to use crunch attack, which would have gotten rid of the energy anyway. So. Not sure I uh, understand that completely, but we're going to cure this guy. Why not? 
we'll play N here because we have to. Still have the Hex Maniac. I know it's, she's circling my deck. Uh, we can get our energies back again. That's great. I should have two in here at least. No, just one still. This will knock him out. Right? 50. But it's... Oh, no. It'll only be 100. Okay. So let's do Flower Supply. It's still going to do 80 damage. Poison Barb doesn't really do anything, right? We're going to power the Mega Beedrill. All right, so we're back where we started from, just about. Still have the ability to play in. Still have the ability for Max Potion. If he keeps taking away my energy. Interesting. Scorched Earth. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to Mega Beedrill him, and that's going to knock him out. Or it should be close. 40, so it's going to do 80, 160. Yep, that's going to knock. So I'm going to knock out his guy. I'm going to play an end here because he just got a bunch of cards. Ah! Hey, to all you budget uh, Pokemon players out there, you, you've seen these guys. Once you get the rich cards, everyone just concedes from you all the time. This happens all the time to us. Very rich Pokemon players. You just put out the richest cards. And whoever, and Lycanroc is a rich card, but I don't know if it, Mega Beedrills, that's a pretty expensive card too. I mean, so, you know, if you're out there playing budget cards, this is what it's, this is what Pokemon's really like when you reach the higher levels. People just quit on you, you know, three turns in because the one with the more expensive deck wins, obviously. No, seriously, come on, guys. <laughs> Can we get someone not to quit mid game? This is unreal. This hand could be better. Honestly, an Ultra Ball would be great because I would chuck the two ends, play Lily, um, get a Pokemon out of it. Ooh, fire! Fire, bad! Oh, no. Weakness. All our Pokemon are weakness to fire. This is not the deck I want to play. I should just concede, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to take our lumps here with Volcanion, Volcanion EX, even Oranguru, and Hoopa. We are going to take some lumps, but who knows? Maybe we can pull it out. Maybe we can get some of these EXs off balance and uh, get them before they really do damage to us. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Obviously, play Acrobike. Cross my fingers, I get an Ultra Ball. Let's see, if I just play the Acrobike and it gives me something to play, she'll give me up to eight. One, two, so let's draw four cards with Lily. I'm inclined to play Sycamore because I don't have anything here, and I'm staring at a wall of fire that's going to knock me out. I mean, basically, he's one energy away from one-shotting me. I, I may get one-shotted here. If he's got two energy, if, if he's got two energy in his hand, I'm getting one-shotted. Oh, he doesn't go. He doesn't attack yet. <laughs> oh boy. So I have one turn to get a second Pokemon and maybe do something. If you think I'm wasting that on him, you are crazy. All right, let's stick that in our hand. Mm. That The single energy does nothing. I'm just going to let him die and hope I can clean up on the rest. That'll be my game plan. I can make him a Mega. I can make him a Mega. Let's see what these give us. We'll go with the Acrobike. Let me think. What do I really want? What? I, well, let's see what Acrobike gives us. Okay, I guess that's fine. 
So maybe we'll do this. One, two, three. Gotta love Forest the Giant Plants lets you uh so there goes playing my Ultra Ball. Not even gonna put it in my hand. And thanks, Beedrill. It's been nice knowing you. So we've got this guy here. Uh, Lysander would be great to get rid of one of these Vulcanians. Chances of that happening is pretty slim. Two in uh, 40. So one in 20 chance I will get the one singular card I need. Uh, not likely to happen. This Ultra Ball will have been wasted, unfortunately. But I'm going to Sycamore, hopefully get some more cards in my hand. Come on, doesn't he want to attack with Vulcanian EX? Retreat? No? <laughs> Ooh, Sycamore here. Wow, he threw out all not energy, so. Is he having a hard time mustering up enough damage? There's one. I think two, two steam ups and his attack will knock him out. Because that'll be 80 and that'll give him 160. Maybe he doesn't have it. Nope, he got it. Okay, he must have powered up one before. Now I need a Lysander. A Lysander here would be really great. No Lysander means this is going to be a quick, quick, quick game. No Lysander. All right. So Sycamore, here we go. Ooh, almost didn't even get the energy I need. Okay. Still have Forest of Giant Plants here. I do have the Lysander, but now I'm going to have no one to use it on. So this energy has to go on. I could retreat and offer up the Fromantis as a sacrifice. And wait till next turn to knock out this guy. Wow, that doesn't sound crazy at all, does it? What if I do that? Retreat with him. Yeah, I have an idea here. This is a little crazy. He will give me more energy anyway. I'm going to leave. <laughs> wow, I'm getting rid of everything. This is a house sale here, but why not, right? Let's go with the other Beedrill. Let's load up these guys with energy. It's 40. One energy for you. So I think... Ooh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> misclick, misclick. I declare misclick. Where's the undo button? No. No. I think at some point they did have an undo button. You can request, I think, that to undo it. Or maybe I'm thinking of chess. Where you can request to, uh, that was a misclick. Oh, I don't think it's going to matter all that much anyway. Because, uh, there you go. Actually, that kind of helps me a little bit. A little tiny, tiny bit. So go ahead, give me this guy. I want him. Because then I will knock him out with my little bee. I don't even have to use uh, Lysander there. Or is he going to Lysander me? Yeah. All right, so we're going to knock him out eventually, I think. So let's see how this works. This is how it's supposed to work. You're not supposed to be down four prizes, but, you know. Oh, that's nice. Does that actually help? Sure, why not? Let's throw some Beedrill back. I don't see the need to, to put two down, so. All right, here we go. Hazard Stinger, Focal Point. Paralyzed, poisoned, 80 damage. Does he have another escape rope? If he does, this game is all over. Mostly because I'm playing fire, but. So then on my next, there you go. So it, this game is over. Oh, maybe, maybe he won't be able to knock out this guy. Yep, so he escaped his rope his way out. He needs a single energy. Yeah, no, he's going to be able to knock him out for sure. Playing fire was not uh, not this deck's strength.
And there we go. This game is done. Fire bad. Uh, we'll be right back after a short break. Four games. What? Yeah, why not? Why not, right? Four games. I mean, <laughs> two were, were like... I, I don't even know where the first three even games. I, we got like weakness game last game and then two like uh, I don't feel like playing I'm gonna quit because his deck's so expensive all right so mulligan here my opponent's selecting his Pokemon I didn't see what he had uh, I thought I saw psychic and metal did I imagine that <laughs> you know you guys must be laughing like like I, I must have like does he have memory problems this guy how come he's always forgetting oof Oof, this is awful. Decks like this made me want to play my Chandelure deck. Because there's no there's no fancy stuff in that. It's like 90% draw supporter, and then who cares what else? Oof. And that's one card I don't particularly want to see. Maybe I can get the fourth spirit link. You think that'll be the next card I'll I'll top deck? Cause, uh, Cause, that can swap Pokemon out. Um, that I don't want to see either. That's not nice. I'm guessing he doesn't have anything to draw. Cause that's what I do on my first turn if I don't have anything. So, Salgaleo. At least that's what I think it, you pronounce it. Interesting. Yay, V Seeker, best card ever. All right. I pass. So let's see what happens here. Can I can I get a draw supporter before something bad happens? Pidgeot. Feel like I've seen this deck before. This kind of mirror move attack. But mirror move does not help against Beedrill. Do I put the energy on him, retreat, and then use Frumantis to do something? Yeah, there's no point in doing that. I might as well grab an energy. Then shuffle. That's the important part of this attack. Especially when your hand looks like that, the then shuffle. <laughs> Come on, give me a draw. Give me an end. Give me a sycamore. Give me a little. I'll take a lily. Give me something. Please. Ah, oh, salvation. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, real cards. Unbelievable. So what am I doing here? Am I going to Ultra Ball the two Lilies for GX, for Mega Beedrill? Probably Mega Beedrill, because I can retreat with the one energy. Uh, Mega Beedrill, energy on him. Ooh, except this guy with his Ultra Road can switch out his Pidgeot. Hmm. So Mega Beedrill, less effective. Maybe I just go with the GX and start bang, bang, bang with that. I just want to read this. Uh, this is an attack during your... This, this attack does the same amount of damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's the same amount of damage. Um, so Mega Beedrill's attack would be pretty good with this. You know what? I'm going to play in an anyway. We're going to go for Mega Beedrill. Let's, let's see how this works out. And then we got to find that Hex Maniac, so I'm not going to kill him off, and most likely he'll get me with this Sunsteel Strike. Or do I wait? Just sit and wait. If, if I get the GX, I did not get the GX, maybe I'm going I'm to wait. Ooh, I lost my stadium. I can get the GX here by chucking this Mega Beedrill and this energy. And I'm going to get the energy back. How many energy will be in there, too? So I'll power this guy up. I'm okay with that. Because um, I have one powered up already. And I've got to get rid of this guy. 
So I really need the GX to get rid of him. So you know what? If he wants to do 40 damage to me, that's fine. And I think I'm going to put one energy on each on these two guys. Hopefully not misclick. So one on Lurantis and one on my bench Beedrill. So there we go. So now I've got to, so if he wants to do 40 damage, that's fine. Uh, I can trade all, that off for a little bit. I need a Hex Maniac if I'm going to take this guy. Well, what do I, what do I need to take him down? Mm. Oh, he's going to take me down. Interesting. And he cannot use that attack. Well, he's going to discard all the energy from this guy. I'm going to put some damage on him, but... Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm going to go with the acro bike here. Because no matter what, he can retreat this guy. So I'm only really doing 80 damage. Um, if I use this guy, he can still retreat, but he doesn't have anybody else. Or I can go after this bench guy. Because then he's got nothing. I'm going to go after the bench guy. This is going to sound crazy, but... And you know what? I'm not going to get rid of the energy to do it. We'll, we'll use uh, Baby Beedrill. Well, not, not Baby Beedrill, but... Let's use Pin Missile. Should be enough. Wow. <laughs> if I knew I was going to get that, I'd go after Pidgeot. Wow, four, four heads in a row. All right, so now what? He's got to get a ton of energy on this guy. He can use the Sol Burst, but that'll be his one GX attack. I can then uh, retreat from Mega Beedrill, making, forcing him to switch his Pokemon. Yeah, I think taking the taking the cosmogs out helps. So let's see let's see what he does here. Whoever he puts the I mean he's gonna probably energy up the GX and the EX. But he's the only one that scares me, so let's put my Mega Beedrill here and force him to use Ultra Road. He probably doesn't have switches or anything in there. And his attack isn't gonna really hurt me. So that is my plan. Alright, so lots of energy. Uh, my energy is going to... I'm going to discard that. I need to build up my next GX. There we go. All right. Oh, I can do this if I want. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and look at this. Revitalizer. Perfect timing, huh? One, two. We'll power up this Pokemon. Four. So... I'm not going to put this guy down, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to need another Revitalizer. I mean, basically, these are my three Pokemon that I'm going to shuffle between. And my goal is to get rid of this guy. And I'm going to use Hex Maniac to prevent him from using his ability next turn. So, this should be interesting. So... I so he can use his ability to get rid of him and then try to hit me with the Pidgeot. Um, so he'll be 170 away. But then I can use Hex Maniac to prevent him from saving his Pidgeot. Although this guy will be able to knock me out when he comes back. So this should be interesting <laughs> how my opponent uh, plays this out. I don't feel very comfortable here, like, oh, well, I've got a definite win. Oh, that's bad. I did not want to see that. He can use that. Well, he can't use Sol Burst again. Can he use one from each of these? 
and then put him back and knock me out because that would stink. Yep, there you go. Wow, that was a good play, man. He had a rare candy. All right, so now I'm going to Hex Maniac, and he's not going to be able to do that next turn. Except that's kind of pointless. I'm not going to Hex Maniac. Uh, I've got a Hex Maniac if I want to knock one of his Pokemon out. So let's use it now. We have this uh, V Seeker to pull either Lysander or him back. Let's Hazard Stinger here. So he can't move this guy out of the spot here. So it's going to be 40 more. He'll be at 200, so he'll have 50 left, and I'll do my attack, and he'll be dead by the time he goes again. So he will not have gotten an attack in. Oh, no, no. And he could play an N here. Which would really hurt him more than me. Interesting. He's looking for something. And he got that V-Seeker out of my hand. That was a pretty good play. So I can retreat and put the energy back, but he's almost likely to get that Sunsteel attack. Is he? There's no point in Lysandering anybody. All right, that is my only... Uh, is n and I'm not going to play an end because that will give him one more one more card. And I don't want to play anything else, so I'm going to hold tight. We're going to use Flower Supply. Here's our focal point. One. On my Mega Beedrill. We're going to put both of them on him. So let's see what my opponent has. So now he can retreat out. If he's got an energy, this game the game is over because he can use his Sun Steel Strike attack. Eva Soda. See, he's thinning his deck out. Oh, he's thinning his hand out. There we go. Good. Well played by my opponent. Well, well played. So uh, this was the one deck that I was scared of playing against because of that ability to for my opponent to get out of the Paralyze and swap Pokemon. And uh, that, was, uh, that was played well. So again, this is not the deck you want to play against. Uh, you don't want to play against Volcanion either. But um, as you can see, this deck does have some uh, some uh, some strength to it for sure. Uh, maybe there's a couple. Maybe eh, may, maybe a Garbodor would help. Maybe get rid of this four four line of Acrobike. You'd probably have to change a few more things. You'd probably need some more uh, balls to call Pokemon. Get rid of the Hex Maniac as well. Maybe even a one one line with a Town Map. Uh, and you'd put what? I guess you would put the Spirit Link on him, no. So it's still four cards. You'd want the Float Stone. Um, it's possible, but there's definitely some good synergy here with these cards. Uh, Mega Beedrill makes a very uh, powerful attacker if your opponent cannot switch out. Uh, when our opponent had those ropes uh, in the last game, the ability to switch Pokemon that are paralyzed, well, that uh, that gets around a bit. But if he's got a Manaphy, he still can't retreat paralyzed. So... You know, I think this is a pretty strong deck. Um, I would definitely try it out in a tournament. Why not? And, uh, you know, it is an expensive deck, so maybe we'll do some more expensive decks in the future to accompany it so it's not alone. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, and until next time. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you'll know when our next video is released. Also, check out our playlists where you can find videos by topics like Mildex or Cheap EX decks.